In Northeast Edmonton is the expanding Gilead Pharmaceutical Company. Gilead Alberta here in Edmonton is the largest Gilead facility in Canada. We've got uh, more than 300 people here on site now. We're manufacturing active pharmaceutical ingredients here. And these are, this is not uh, consumer ready. This is not a tablet or a capsule. This is the active ingredient that goes into those compounds. We're working on uh, liver disease. So hepatitis C, hepatitis B, uh, HIV, uh, cancer treatments, and cardiovascular. As one of the largest pharmaceutical producers in North America, Gilead, based in California, plans to expand local production by 50% in the near future, soon to be Canada's largest pharmacy lab and plant facility. We just added 80 people. Uh, we're going to be adding another 80 people for laboratory positions, and we've just announced a $100 million investment in a new manufacturing plant that will add uh, manufacturing, probably about 50 manufacturing jobs. That means opportunity for organic, synthetic, and analytical chemists and chemical engineers chosen in part from major Canadian universities and tech schools. Usually it's a four-year uh, specialization in chemistry program, uh, for, for example like the U of A uh, or uh, U of T, uh, places like that. Uh, PhDs, you'll be adding another three to five years. Uh, sometimes we also do postdoctoral uh, studies as well. Some of the people that come to work at Gilead are graduates of NAIT programs. Uh, which programs specifically? Uh, primarily the uh, Chemical Technologist Program. It's a two-year program that teaches them safe handling of the chemicals that we work with and also some of the basics of running the process equipment that we use in manufacturing. Mandy Lynn is a U of A grad student targeted for a career in organic chemistry. You were an intern at Gilead for a number of years too, right? Uh, was that important to your career? Yes, that's a very important path for my career because uh, at internship I learned a lot and I, I got inspired into organic chemistry and then that's why I came here to Uvain to continue to get higher education to obtain my PhD. She'll do the designing the process to make the compounds. Um, we have other people who work on how to analyze the compounds. We're following the uh, formula that's been mapped out by the people in process development and we're executing those according to the instructions to make sure that we have consistent quality and, uh, and safety for the patient. A science which requires the kind of expertise found in a select few, many of them developed in the Edmonton region. There's lots going on here, there's lots of new projects coming through and it's exciting work. I mean it's, the, uh, it's a dream job for, for people to come who are interested in organic chemists and, 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 and helping people. For Go, this is Tim Dancy.